Well, good morning, and thank you very much for joining us. <clears throat> I am Yori Fulani. Sorry about the slightly uh, delayed uh, uh, start. Um, uh, now, now, yesterday, well, two things came to mind, and first of all, let me introduce my guest to you, um, Dr. Austin Weze is of Pan Atlantic University, uh, a great friend of the house. Thank you very much. Thank you. As well as um, his colleague here, Chuk Smoko, he's another friend of the house, publisher and um, social commentator. Also, MDG, Millennium Development Goals. That's the guy. He's the editor. MDG Global Magazine. There you publisher. go. Mm -hmm. Publisher, editor in chief. No. No, no, you do edit. No. Okay. <laughs> now, two things caught my attention. The news that, that was all over in the international circuit that um, the Chibo girls that we're all still working on, that we want to bring back, um, what, it's thought that there's something like 113 of them are still in, in, the, in captivity. Uh, but now the Nigerian journalist Ahmed Salkida, who it is said has been working with Boko Haram, no doubt with knowledge of government, otherwise he wouldn't be able to speak the way he has spoken. Uh, he asserted that just 15 of those 113 girls are actually alive. And um, you must have heard that, well, there's been an official response and it's that, uh, well, there's absolutely no way we can independently verify uh, this information. And so from the view, from the federal perspective, uh, negotiations are ongoing. Uh, uh, with Boko Haram. Um, what do you make of that? Let me start with you, if I may, um, Austin. Well, it's, um, it's quite unfortunate that after more than two years, yeah, you know, that we're still, we could not rescue people that are within Nigeria's uh, territory. And, um, you know, we couldn't even negotiate with them. And, uh, and uh, that's um, lack of... Um, uh, the ability to take uh, urgent decisions. Well, that's uh, okay. That's the, indeed it, yeah. it might be all of that. But I was wondering what this now does does to the matrix, the whole terms of reference under which we are laboring uh, to to get our girls back. And um, uh, the the journalist uh, Ahmed uh, Salkida, <coughs> he, he wouldn't have spoken if he wasn't sure of his fact because this is a very very serious yeah, affair. Yeah. Uh, but then government has not said. Balderdosh, you know, rubbish. It's just that there's no way we can ind independently uh, verify it. So these are confusing signals because clearly we wouldn't be still working yeah. if we didn't, if we weren't hopeful. But it would seem that this seems to now be, you know, taking the uh, plan yeah, from under if, our feet. You know, if if um, the government comes out and says, look, some of these girls have died, I think the parents of these girls would have been more. You know, their mind would be at rest that, you know. Yes, but, but that is if government has irrefutable evidence yes. uh, to that effect. Yes. Which government has said uh, it yeah. has no way of that being the, able to yeah, reduce. The government, government should actually investigate and find out Indeed. exactly the um, credibility of that um, news item. If this, this uh, journalist is, has been working with them, mm. at least it must be a go between. Uh, we, clearly, in, clearly. He must yeah. be known to the authorities. Yes, the authorities. I mean, you know. So whatever he says, one should be, it should be a credible source. It should be a credible source. Uh, well, well, well what, what, Chooks, what do you think? In, in, in this day of an age of uh, so-called fake news, not that I'm in any way, shape or form trying to denigrate this mm. news, but mm. uh, government seems to well, be... Well, you're not far from it. Cautious. You, okay. Uh, I don't think you're far from it. You're, this, this problem of Boko Haram, missing chiburgers, missing children, missing that and that, the only people that have never missed in this equation is the Nigerian politician. They've never kidnapped them or their children from that axis. That is number one. Number two, we have crises all over the world. I mean, you know we have crises in Syria. There was a time we had, not too long ago, we had crises in Ukraine. Um, Russia wanting to annex a, a, a part of, 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 of Ukraine and all that. And all, all, the, all the crises you have all over the world. You already there's a unique thing that the media, a role that the media plays to its own detriment. They go into the place. I mean, if you follow CNN, there, there's a lady um, that's constantly there in Iraq, in Syria, working for CNN. The kind of thing that I'm and Paul had done and all that. This type of journalism that Ahmed is doing mm. in our own case, mm -hmm. it, it baffles me. You know, I, I was comparing to the practice of journalism because I just haven't been able to see the media set agenda for our national growth and development. And in fact, in crisis time, all you hear is all this news 
that I, like I said to you, I'm not, I'm not too sure you're far away from, from, from the truth that, for me, as far as I'm concerned, it's fake news. Until he is able, as a, na a nationalist, come out to give verifiable, verifiable images and pictures. Mm. And let's see the platform. Is he working with Al Jazeera? Look, at the, at the, at the beginning of the uh, ISIS problem in Syria, in fact, he said it from Iraq and all that, there's a young journalist that I loved so much who had to pay a price. Do you know he worked for Wall Street? His name is Daniel Pell. You've forgotten him. He was killed. Okay. In, now, that for me is the risk of the profession. I mean, we have had medical doctors die when, when Lassa fever broke out in a boy in, in, in other parts. That's the danger of some of these professions. What is, what is he talking about? If you have facts, there are how many newspapers in Nigeria? Send us pictures. The social media is there. Let us have the facts. By the way, what is it that is killing these children? Are they assassinating them? Mm. Or is it a, an outbreak of a disease that is not curable mm -hmm. or whatever? Mm -hmm. So. The, the, those are the questions that I need to ask myself when I hear such news about yeah. uh, the, it's only 13 or 17 of the girls that are remaining. Yeah, yeah. I, I begin to ask myself questions. And, and then, As a journalist, you must yeah. report with fast images. In fact, a picture in journalism speaks six, you know, millions a, 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 of words. Anywhere. A picture is worth a thousand yeah. words. So uh, I think that I have always heard the media responsible for some of the things that is going on. We, don't, we haven't been able to set agenda 60, more than how many years after independence? The kind of journalism that is being practiced today is gone in the last 20 years has become development. I don't see that. But, but perhaps, and thank you very much. Uh, look, he spoke. He's been working with them. He's being Who cited. Who's paying his bills? The, well, uh, it, we then go there. Who exactly he is sponsoring him? Yes, the, the so, people sponsoring him. It, it, he's not working for any Nigerian newspaper. It's not reported. Or any Nigerian media Because house. I was going he's to go working there. For TVC? I, I was going to go there that this wasn't a wash in the Nigerian media. It might have been mentioned here and there. Yeah. But, you know, if one happened yeah, to yeah, be... Even if, on, I think it was on BBC, it, it, it was on BBC, it was on Al Jazeera, it, it, that the Nigerian journalist working with Boko Haram has asserted, has asserted, but government says there is no way to independently verify. It is possible that, based on government antecedents, that this person must have shared information with the Nigerian media. Okay. And the government may have blocked it. It's it, well, yes. or, or, well, or, just, or, or it might yes. be that I, I don't know, it'll be interesting. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. It, it might well be that the kind of things Chooks is saying, maybe some editors took that position as well. So yes. fair. Uh, if, if that is what you think and what you see, mm -hmm. it's, not, take the story it's not enough for us yeah. to, to run with. Yeah. Uh, because the official perspective is that we can't verify independently. Yeah. And so, so their yeah. bottom line statement was that negotiations are ongoing but the western media well clearly they must be aware of him know his because they themselves are professional and won't just cite anybody yeah, they unless they're up yeah. to mischief yes um, no, even if uh, so can we attribute that in this no, case because one is that the credibility of the international media al jazeera or cnn mm. is, is there if mm -hmm, remember mm -hmm, the mm -hmm, other mm -hmm, guy mm -hmm. yeah so they need to protect their own yes you no know, in spite of you know, the, the other guy from Zimbabwe or so that used to report for CNN and did that uh, uh, fake news that he did on CNN, he was sacked. You know, <laughs> so because, accidents was, can happen yeah. in the best of places is yeah. what you are saying. That's right. So yeah. even if the, the name Al Jazeera, the name CNN, they have to protect that name. So the kind of information, if they have not verified it, like, like you said, unless they want to be mischievous. Yes, which, which, which can happen, yes. which can happen can on happen. occasion. Yes. In fact, mo I mean, they're in the middle of it over there. Mm -hmm. But as I said, it, it just was interesting and curious to me that uh, why are you people repeating this whole story was what was occurring to me. It, it was going as, as, as stories like that tend to go viral. And um, not that it wouldn't have been mentioned here. After all, I am talking about it and there must have been. But for it to be hitting the headlines all over the place, well, that is yet to happen. That, but the, the, the government, that, you're hearing, the, 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 we are still having this because the government is supposed to change their strategy concerning this Boko Haram issue. Well, that's another matter, isn't it? In, in terms, you need it, to because it's another matter because uh, can it be that the Nigerian press, well, they, they have some Chibok stories, uh, 17 Chibok girls' parents dead. That's a different story it's of the family. Yeah. That's a different story. They, they but so, so it's, it's so easy for them to attach or even lead with this, but 
you know, maybe self-censorship, maybe erring on the side of caution and professionalism. Yes, substitution you know. of the story. Yeah, yeah, they just said, look, let's be... But uh, what does this do to the parents who are expectant and are praying? Uh, that, maybe that's why government has to say that, look, don't start anything you can't prove. You know, don't start anything you can't give us, you know, you know, total proof about. And so as far as we're concerned, it's like they didn't want to comment on, on, on his assertion one way or the other, but said that since it can't be independently verified, we're being focused, nothing has changed in our strategy of negotiating the release of our girls. I guess that's the, the, the only no, way but to what we, have, we can see that uh, what could happen to their parents. Uh, Some of them well, are already well, already naturally, yeah. be, be, because yeah. people are going to be full of hope, yeah. uh, hoping against hope. Yes, and um, the, the amount of resources that we will throw at the matter mm -hmm. will directly relate to if we think there's anything at the end of the tunnel mm -hmm. for us to get. But, but if, but again, but if uh, anybody's now suggesting that that which you are struggling for, uh, maybe uh, how how much can you trust these guys? I am saying, as somebody who is in there, that it's not Chibon going. Girls, school girls. Uh, Parents uh, dead. Okay, um, the, this organization works closely with the community, so they probably have their verifiable uh, facts and all that. But you see, when you say that Ahmed um, Sakida Sakida is working uh, with Boko Haram, I'm. I'm Thinking, working as in reporting <laughs> the story or well, an employee you, you, following you, you, up. Following you, you know, only God knows. These because independent journalists, these yeah. freelance journalists, there's a sense in which some of them are host so highly privileged. It's almost like being, um, I, I don't want to use uh, the other word. Because you see, the, the profession of journalism have suffered a setback in the last how many years. It's the only profession where you can just get up in the morning and you probably lost your job in a bank or somewhere, <laughs> and you, you have your phone and you have data and you, you become a journalist. That's, that's, it's been on. In fact, before the advent of social media, yes. you organize an event anywhere, and you just see them, fake journalists sitting down or whatever. Yes. We, we need to be very careful. The, 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 the profession itself has its ethics. And with the advent of uh, social media and all the platforms that you have, it, it, those ethics cannot be diminished. It, it, it has, they have not lost their, their, their potency and all that. I think that is, is something that must, must be put there because I don't know what he's doing. Even if you're a, an independent uh, practitioner but, 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 of, of the... But surely you guys, really you, you guys are fully aware of the concept of the, um, the embedded journalist. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's, a, it's, it's all over the world. Even CNN embeds journalists where the people say, you know, just come and live with us and be like us and go with us. Uh, very, it happens. I was wondering Al if this is Al not Jazeera something a, like that. No, I, I don't think so. Al Jazeera, that you also mentioned in mm. your intro. I, I am not, um, it's not my favorite whatever. Yeah, but news outlet. You, you give something to them. Every time you see them track a story, especially that type of story, they will go verify and bring you images, video, recorded video, pictures. But this time they were reporting. Reporting. In their reportage, in, in, a, in a situation like this, what they would normally do is do what I'm just telling you. Check they would the bring you, vo uh, you know, mm. sounds, yes, if it was bring the you original pictures, story. bring mm. you video. Mm. That's, that's what, what they do. Well, okay, uh, I, am, uh, I don't know, unless, but, but again, uh, unless we're I saying that indict, there is no I use. I also indict you guys, Yuri. Yes. Uh, for not doing going the extra mile, you know, to cover this kind of story. Okay. From day one, okay. I had expected Yuri to be deployed to Medigree okay. to follow up on this, uh, because mm. I remember how mm. Mm. passionate you were mm -hmm. those days. Yes. Those people must be released and all that. Yeah. And you're still sitting comfortably here and not investigating and trying to get us some of this news, Yuri. I, I, I'm just using you yeah, as a I as understand. A, yeah, it's, journalist. It's, it's a Nigerian thing. Yeah. You're saying that Nigerian journalists journalist. don't have that. Yeah, don't, they, they, they don't, they don't that. do that. They okay. don't do that. We lost okay. a young man from your sister channel. I in, was going to go there. Yeah, the young man who went to Kano. In fact, it was in Kano that he was actually killed, not in Bronu, at the exception of the you know, isolated bombings that you have in, in that region. A, a very young man from Benway State lost, you know, lost his life. And, and I don't know how that family has coped because, you know, one of the appeals yeah, I made... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So journalists like that do these, these, this tough work. Yes. The kind of work. That's why I mentioned Daniel yes. Pell. You might not yes. remember him, but yes. he, he, he was a they very do this kind of tough work. Wall, 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 uh, Wall Street Journal mm -hmm. that went to... ISIS was new at the time. It was a strange movement at the time and all that. He went to 
to, to Iraq and went to some suburb of, 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 of the police and he was killed. Uh, you know, some of these people... In fact, he, he was beheaded. They have insurance to cover them. How many Nigerian journalists have insurance to cover them? Uh, yeah. But you, you said your issue would be in some business for this. Yes, if you have insurance, you're, okay. you, you <laughs> must have insurance. <laughs> <laughs> Well, guys, okay. <laughs> now, now, I mean, let's just leave that there because I thought it, because but the whole nation is praying we, we want insurance. our girls back. Yeah, I, well, let you me know. just say something about journalism. You know, in 2008, when I said the MDG Media Award, Fuchs just said in the last, uh, the 10th edition, your journalists yes. here, mm. your, your news department won that award. Mm -hmm. This year, we've gotten two of your people already in the nomination list. But this is the point. I remember that when your girl, Vivian Irikefe, won the first year award with uh, Toyo Singh, Ogun share of, 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 a, of a prominent newspaper. The concept was to find sponsorship to place a huge sum of insurance cover on, on, our, on our journalists to enable them. Vivian had gone to Badagri mm -hmm. to go and do an undercover story. Mm -hmm. uh, the young girl had gone to loot to go and do an undercover story where he discovered that, that is, so many children were dying and they were, some guy was using a Volvo uh, Range Rover um, station wagon to ferry those bodies to whatever very risky we gave them award but there was no monetary no, no insurance but it's just to draw so, so, so attention we, to to the need the, the, the value that we place, place on, on, on on professions like yeah. that yeah. um uh, mr george good morning and thank you very much for holding on all that while uh, good morning Uncle Eric. good morning sir george morning good morning to the panel morning uh uncle yori uh with due respect to dr austin Wesley, i remember in um uh october 20 14. I still have a copy of, of, of that edition in my library. When this issue was, of Chibok girls was being discussed, Dr. Nwenze said that it was a hoax and that the girls were in a, a white building in Maduguri. From his statement this morning, I doubt if he still holds that view. That, by the way, the issue of whether the girls are dead or alive shouldn't be a, a debating point for the government. As far as I am concerned, what the parents and Nigerians want to see is that even if it is one girl that is remaining, bring that one back. Then you tell us the basis why only one was returned, that whatever has happened to the rest, mm -hmm. then you can tell us. Mm -hmm. As soon as there is still one that is alive in the camp of those terrorists, any other excuse is not tenable. Let them bring the few that are still available. Indeed. So let them, you can have the, the, the platform to say, oh, we cannot get the rest to something or something like this or something like that has happened sure. to the rest. Sure. If so let them, it becomes a story. All so right, then. we are talking about now is still within the realm of uh, speculation. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Morning, thank you. Thank you very much uh, for, for calling in. And that seems to be what uh, the, 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 the perspective of government. Say, look, That's my personal we concern. are just, we have blinkers on, we are focused. Nothing is changing. We can't verify what has been said. You people can quote it as much as you want, wherever you want, but we uh, just know that matters are ongoing to get our girls back. Okay, um, that's one. Oh, oh, by the way, yeah, I remember. In fact, we were fortunate to be together. We were sitting across from each other when Austin said, Truly, as Mr. George has remembered, that this whole Boko Haram, there were, it's a sham. There was no, there's a safe house somewhere. It, it, was it Maduguri or Kano that you cited at the time? Yes, Maduguri. Maduguri. Yes. Uh, well, just uh, in passing, very shortly, yeah. do you still hold the opinion? Of course. The, uh -huh. the British Embassy. That is a, that, that is, no, so it's, it's it a was, hoax we're still chasing no, 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 till no. today. I said it was political. That even two days after, I was in, I was called back yes. by uh, Dakwa. Yes. And uh, uh, Dakwa uh, uh, yes. at, at that time. At that time, yes. Of uh, this yeah. morning. Two days after. Now you know Asian states. Yes. Is it uh, on the Bala, state? Bala, on the Zaki, state. Yeah, Bala Zaki or something. Yeah, yes, yeah. Bala Zaki. Bala Zaka. Uh, I, yeah, Bala yeah, Zaka. Yeah, I, I paired with him. That's there. right, yes. you remember. Yes. And you had said the, that the, there was the, no the, kidnapping. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, I you said, said that. No, no, I said, I said, I didn't say there was no kidnapping. But that, well, that they were, they were actually in a safe house somewhere. In, the in, government the knew government, where they were. Even the, the British Embassy came, that was why I was called back. But this whole thing is political and, now. Okay. You know, that's all political. So you, you, is I say hold on to that. So, so you want to stand by your story, Austin? I, I, uh, any day. Uh, this okay. whole thing is political. It's any our day. politicians 
who do not have the political value to come and contest election that's causing all this problem using these boys they've done it in the south south so which, they just emulate which, which boys which boys using these, these boys? These Boko Haram. Oh, 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 I see, I see. And don't I see. forget your What's the grounds? What, what is it that they have contributed to this country that will make them? It is this politicians that are instigating and dividing this country that is instigating all these problems. Mm. Oh, but that is mm. what it is. Mm. Well, because mm. I, I, see, mm. I keep saying they that don't have any political value. They, don't. they cannot contest election. They will not win if they contest. So this is this is the way of seeking power through the back door. You know, so we, and, and we must they, address they, it the way Bo it is. Boko Haram is not just one sect. There are about 25 sects, different sects, for different purposes. So when you're talking about Boko Haram, and if you know the origin and how this name Boko Haram came about, okay. it was a journalist that wanted for an, a, a want of name or how to, an umbrella body okay. to. Well, well, let's, know, let's not spend too much time there because so this is a long-standing opinion yeah, and you say you stand I by stand your story. By because the British Embassy, okay. I, I was called back and the British Embassy you know, corroborated that story. That was a political thing, and you know, we were discussing. And Bala Zaki, who was also I against me, apologized to me. Okay, um, fine. Uh, I, you see, since Yakub has come on the line, and I wanted to come away from this story. But good morning, Yakub. Yeah, good morning. What good do you want to talk about? Thank you very much, and a good morning to your guests in the studio. Morning. Uh, uh, Shibiori, I quite agree with uh, George. But after seeing that, let me just say this, uh, this morning. If you see the, the, the genesis of this uh, problem that we have today, if you I can tell you, it, it started with uh, politics. But as time goes on, it gets out of hand. I'm still of opinion today. The former governor of uh, Bono State, Alimadi Sheriff, the man still needs to call to, to handle exactly. some certain things. Mm. Are you getting it? Mm. Mm. You see, if you Salkida, he said some certain things. Apart from saying... That's the journalist. The journalist. Yes, journal yes. yes the journalist. Who he spoke? Said, I read, I read, I, I'm, I'm, I followed Salkida on uh, Twitter. And then I read all what the guy said. It's not only that he says a lot of those guys have died, remaining 15 or 13, whatever. He said some certain things that baffled me as well. He said some certain things. The, the Boko Haram is about to release these guys to the initial stage. And then the general then, uh, Alex Bade, receive a call. And then they drop. If, if, if you follow Sakira on the Twitter, you will see what I'm talking about. He said they dropped the issue of being releasing those guys. He said a lot of things. But if you want to get the truth of this case, I, will, I would like you to work hard to bring on... Aisha Wakil to the studio. Mm. Aisha Wakil, the, 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 the woman that called Mama Boko Haram, if the woman tells you anything about Boko Haram, I can tell you, if you're is the truth, nothing but the truth. Because I listened to Aisha Wakil on one of the stations, which is AIT, if I'm, if I'm allowed to mention it. The, the, the woman said a lot of things that day. In fact, to the extent that the woman said the Boko Haram people, the yeah, they kept themselves in the bush. They don't like where they are. They wanted to come out, but they see the soft landing. Soft landing is saying that the people behind them, the woman says, when they wanted to come out, they will say, these people, are they going to allow us to come out? And then if they hack them, who are those people? They will say some politician. If you say some politician, who are their name? They will not tell you their name. That's what the woman said. She told whether the, 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 the girl has been killed, whether the remaining of them, remaining two or what, or even one, as I just said earlier, the one, what Nigerian needs is that you should bring that one, come back for Nigerian. And then I can tell you, because Mama Boko Haram said it, that some of the girls have been killed due to hair strikes and military. Some of them have been married house. I look at it, married by Boko Haram fighter, but they are still there in the bush, or because they have already disabled us, they, they fear them. We did the group, Albanari group, and then the Shakao group. They share those guys. Are you getting it now? And then they, they marry, some of them they have married out. In fact, the Mama Boko Haram said some of them is handicapped because of the, the strike by, 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 by military. Mm. See, Chief Jory, I, okay. I said it earlier, I want you to work hard. Please, please, try 
Let us bring Mama Boko Haram to this video because we have to. Indeed, I, I appreciate you, you Yakub. Yeah, th th thank you very, very much for calling in. Let, let's leave this here. Uh, interesting conversation, but this will just go on forever because there's so much uh, underground information that people know and that are not able to share. And part of that is what uh, uh, the guy has brought up. Now, the other thing that caught my attention, um, maybe we'll, the, the other half of the program, we'll look at that uh, when we come back from the break very, very shortly. Is this whole matter about the president is in the UK, vacation, and um, he's been speaking. Uh, people have gone to him and pledged, you know, their, their support and their loyalty and their understanding and all of that. And um, uh, he, he's saying that, look, if all told, all considered, we've done a heck of a job. It doesn't matter that the opposition doesn't want to come across and allow as much, but we know what we're saying and there's more to come. Uh, we, it's not possible to get every cupboard that was looted back, but we've done a heck of a job. Most people would agree with him. A lot of people will also say, I beg to differ. And I can just see Austin getting ready, but he will not have his chance <laughs> well, until I come back from yeah, this well. break. Uh, so All stay right. with us, please. Yeah. We'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, welcome back. So, uh, as I was saying just before we went on break, um, the president was speaking um, when, you know, a group, you know, visited him. Um, the Buhari uh, Diaspora Support Organization led by Mr. Charles uh, Efe Sylvester. And that's when the president had commended him that here you are in diaspora and you're doing this good work. You're, you know, staying the course and you're being supportive and Nigeria needs more of you. And then he sort, sort of told them, uh, the, the extent of the task and that they were not going to be distracted or overwhelmed, overwhelming as it might seem. Um, more, 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 more revelations are going to be made. Don't forget that the Minister of Information had said that it doesn't matter the amount of noise and the fog index, we will continue, we will stay the course and more is going to come, even as criticisms are trailing that which has been released. Let me, uh, look, he's in there. Uh, the, I mean the president and his guys. They are in there. We are on the outside looking in. Why is it so hard for anybody to accept that um, what he says is indeed the way it is because we were all living witnesses to, to, to the waste that, was, that happened in the previous administration, maybe even the one before that? Well, uh, you, you, yes, please, please, yes, yes. Uh, well, why yeah, is it so yeah, hard? Yeah, Apart from yeah, just, yeah. you see, I understand yeah. that opposition is opposition yeah. and it's, it's, it's legitimate, but they are in there and they are saying the thing was broken, totally broken, and then we have to start. And why, the, why do people not want to concede this? Uh, Yuri, the right from independence, we've been having this issue. Okay. You know, and every administration during the military interregnum, we still have the same. The difference now is that we can report and ask questions. But during the military, yes, yes. who are you to ask questions? Yes, okay. You know, you, you don't have such a privilege. But the point is that, one, I'm against him not talking to us in, our, in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, it's always okay. when he goes out that he, he speaks to us, which is... You know, mm -hmm. talking down, mm -hmm. no. it's not, it's not okay. right. Okay. Okay. okay, if you have such this thing. Now, secondly, uh, naming, and, uh, naming and shaming and all that. And continuing the fight against corruption, yeah. generally. You know, because it, nobody doubts that there is that issue. Yes, because one is that lips would have no shame. You know, these okay, your the, the, the guys yeah. that are being shamed and yes, named. They don't have they don't have it. They even organizing a party and say, Oh, my name has been mentioned. That's why earlier on you know, off camera I said, Look, my name is not even there, so why should I <laughs> you know? So but the point is that we need to rethink this whole strategy of you know, of corruption fight. Fight in quote. And that word is also another thing that is, you know, 
uh, working. We need to actually find a way. Yeah, because what you're, what you're, what you're suggesting in there, Austin, is, is what I have also heard, the suggestion that um, there is no sincerity of purpose in this fight against corruption. Uh, uh, that, 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 you, that's the suggestion out there. From, mm -hmm. You start from, if you clean a house, you sweep from inside, outside. Okay. So you're saying that that's, that you don't get the sense that that is what is selected, happening, right? Not selected. No, oh, okay. So you that's know, the point. Any, anybody that has been guilty and all that, yes, they have recovered some money. Yes. Now, you also have to explain where this money, what have you applied this money to? I, I, you I, have, I hear you. Yeah, but, but if it has but, been spent. But will, will you concede, Austin, that since this administration has come, um, the, its posture against corruption there's been no other like it in recent times. Yes, I agree. Oh, okay. Yeah, they just the, no the other posture, like it. The posture, and the expose. Fine. You Thank know. you very much. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to come back to yeah, you because yes. I know there's more that you consider that is because you're a fair-minded person and you're looking at the issues. That's right. But that doesn't mean that you are totally in support. I, I appreciate I that. Uh, yes, yes. I'm not yes. totally in support no, of the, the the fight against. They need to change it. Yes. They need even the word fight. You know, when, oh, you want to, when I want to fight you, Yuri, you prepare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, but uh, if you say, okay, Yuri, I want you to change a mind change. Now, uh, you know, some kind of advocacy. Okay. Uh, Chooks, the... Okay, Comrade Ayo Enoshobo, good morning. Good morning, Uncle Yuri. Good morning, sir. Yeah, uh, Uncle Yuri, uh, you see, we have a problem in our country here. Security in other climes is a serious business. Whereby a, a political party can, I, can lose a, an election if it fails to tackle security the way it ought to be. But here in, in, in Nigeria, we always politicize everything. The politicians are the ones causing the problem here in our country as far as security is concerned. They are the ones using these boys to win elections. And they are doing that not because they love the masses, but because of their selfish interests. Now, on the fight against corruption, yes, we can say this government is trying fighting corruption, but I don't see seriousness. I don't see seriousness in the fight against corruption. Because as it stands, um, nobody has either been convicted for corruption all we hear about is prosecution, mm. prosecution, prosecution, and, and uh, media propaganda. Okay. See, we, I don't see us as a serious people. I don't really see us as a serious people. But okay, uh, well, thank you very much, because I think you got your point across. And, Chooks, that gives me the opportunity to come to you. Um, even those who are Buhari supporters, diehard supporters, have criticized that they wish they would have pick up, picked up the pace a bit, mm -hmm. but... They're still solidly behind them. They're a bit annoyed at what they perceive as the slow pace. Um, but the whole fight against corruption, people insinuating and sometimes outrightly stating that it's not transparent and that uh, it is selective. Um, uh, uh, g give me your thoughts on that. Um, it, it's like even the critics, some, the, those that want to be fair-minded will say that, yeah, 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 corruption has never been taken on like this before. Mm -hmm. But the problem is that uh, you have been selective in, in, in this aspect well, of it. That's a human being for you. There will always be a bot. Since independence, nobody has dared to fight corruption. That is number one. Number two, at no other time has Nigeria ever had a set goal. No government. Uh, Basanjo tried it, PDP had it, and the danger PDP faced was when Basanjo was around, we had transformation agenda. When Yaradwa came, we had seven point agenda. A political party, each time you elect an officer, it's changing uh, the dynamics of the, uh, of the party. Mm. This is the first time. There's a program that I run that is called Turning Your Goals into Reality. Mm -hmm. What do we teach? How to set individual goals. This is the first time that this nation has a set goal. Headed by a president. Now, I, I, I don't, if, you, if, you, if I do a SWOT test, mm -hmm. and if you join me in doing a SWOT test mentally, you know, every man, every institution, every, every government has its weakness. He has his strength, his weakness, the threats, and, and what have opportunities. Opportunities and, and threats. And what, what, you have, know, what yeah, have you. Yeah. So, this is not a perfect uh, situation. But this man said to us, ab initio, that corruption, on the day he was doing so, is corruption. How he's fighting it is of no interest to me. What is important to me is that if you don't like it, you need to contest this election against mm -hmm. you and set your own goal. 
and stop criticizing. What are you doing? Other nations. Okay. I mean, I spent a ah. few, few months outside, outside of this country early last year. Nations and youths and citizens of countries, they create wealth. As I speak to you, go all over the world. Nations are creating wealth. But we have the problem we have here. Yeah, all okay, of us government. One second, because uh, Reverend Dominic has been holding on for a while. Good morning, Reverend. Thank you for holding on. Good, good morning, Dominic. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Very well, thank you. Good morning, Walker. Good morning, good. Dr. Wednesday. Good morning. If, you're, if we, we can, if we're not a nation that forgets quickly, sometimes early last year, I think one of the functions of Boko Haram shows a picture of Nigerian gang killed by, according to him, by a bomb thrown by Nigerian government. I don't know if you remember. And the government waved it off. I didn't believe that man was lying because he brought a picture of dead girls around him, this mad people, showing us how Nigeria killed them. So that's number one. I don't know what I'm forgetting now. The man who gave us information, the girls who uh, were alive or dead. Yes. I don't know who to believe, either him or the government. Uh -huh. Because when we put it in this government, there's a mystery that for example, Boko Haram in this nation. We don't know who is who Boko Haram. We thought when this new government comes, this, this mask and mystery will be unfair. We know what, who is fighting us, what is the truth. When the last guest came back here, the Dutch guest, they went out, you know, you know, scooted away. They came back with luggage into the same nation. I don't know who gave them luggage. <laughs> there's a mystery behind this Boko Haram, mm. which is politics. Mm. The Nigerian this community will tell us better. Mm -hmm. To tell us whether we have an enemy outside or inside. You know The one in London, the one that happened in London, you can't blame anybody. In politics, whether government is bad or good, they will have supporters. I see Mr. President talking to the bishop of Rio, the people who is killing Nigerians. <laughs> yes, Mr. President has known people who is killing Nigerians. I think it's easy to fight them. They see today, people are dying in Benio, in Taraba, every day. I was not arrested in one man. I said, this man is from Libya. This one is from Chad. Or this one is Nigeria. Why do government assume many things in this nation? And the more we assume, the more we shed more blood. I pray that this government should put their hands together. I think that's why in the competency, the competency is so much, but they're not being true for anyway. Okay. That's why we had a trial. Sure. Let me say this. Sure. Okay. okay. Well, will still win for the second time. Well, I'm not Thank oh. you, Nigeria. Oh, thank you very much for calling in, uh, Reverend Dominic. Look, um, the, uh, as they would put it, the point that I was making yes. before the call came in is very simple. I need to love Nigeria because I have my children here. This is where I am. This is where my umbilical, umbilical cord was was buried and all of that. PDP just came in 1998. APC is a recent entity. Nigeria has been here. So if this journalist who is reporting this thing was working for Nigeria and not for Boko Haram, we will have a better country. If these politicians who are causing this mayhem and all these who are criticizing Buhari can just love Nigeria mm. and wait till election day when you're going to vote him out. But the, because but the reality the, of the, the matter... You know, let, but, let, me, but the let me finish what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, but let, I'm let, sorry. Let, you know, because you, you, this is the second leg of yeah. your, your tranche. Yes. But the, 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 the problem here is that this fight against corruption is hitting some people it will badly. Because here where you and walk, not, here where you walk. They're not taking it lightly. Excuse me, here where you walk, sir. Here where you walk. If you get to your reception or these guys that we're here with, set new rules and see how they will react. Exactly. <laughs> and Austin, you, you, you're people, a teacher. This is a well-known fact. This is how people react. To, people don't... To, 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 to restrictions and laws and, and rules. I was going to say change, but I like what you said better. Restrictions and laws and rules. People react very badly to them if they have not been long entrenched. By now, when you go to UK, you go to US, you go to Australia, you go to Sweden or wherever, because there's no chance for you to bring your own attitude to it, these have been entrenched. That's what we're beginning now, and it's you know, a rough, it's a rough has, ride. I have a mind of a strategist. Sure. That's why I'm always talking about this. As a strategist, when you craft your strategy and you're implementing mm -hmm. and you have a hiccup somewhere, you go back. You should have prepared for that. Yes. And you must have considered some of these things. If I have a hiccup in A, I'll you go, go to option B. Option B and all that. Are there any other options? 
since they have. Uh, uh, they but there's have no a, option. A, there's no option no. when it comes to the matter of corruption. No, no. everybody no, no, no. agrees corruption. that this thing is going to kill us. Yes, corruption yeah. is. So there. because some people are saying, can you just leave corruption alone, please, and let's no, deal with. Uh, no, no. with no. Let, let, there are people corruption, who are saying that. The they say they say you're wasting no, time no, on no, corruption. No, 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 no. Corruption. A leader is not moved or pushed okay. around by, okay. by whatever. He must he remain makes focused. His mind, he's thought about it, he's put his strategy together and all that. The hallmark, when you see a leader, he defines his goal, sets his goal, sets his agenda, it's focused. If you like, cry from here to selectivity to whatever yeah. strategy. Yeah, yeah. but the problem of the, democracy the, the, being what it is, yes. the thing uh, is, the, the there thing are is checks that, and balances. The thing even though, balances, even though you know. Check and this balances, is, this, this is the problem. This, this is the reason why you don't have a conviction yet. You know why? Because barrister Ozakome, you know him, that <laughs> prominent lawyer. Yes. He will come on TV because he was defending Jonathan's wife. Yes. He'll be shouting, hey, this man has come. Up, um, up, uh, the, what's it, that the, law? The, uh, decree 4 has come. Ruru. Buhari moved to option B by keeping quiet. Let's follow the process. Sure. The process takes time. Mm. The laws will be tested in the courts. The, 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 you, you do not have to abuse the rights of the people. Okay. You must but, but, prove that someone but let has me, to... let, let me hear from Austin. Yeah. The, po the point on is... On this that, matter. Yeah. On, on this matter, mm. I keep saying that if the, the leader, you know, like it's been said, that I'm not saying that the focus is not this thing. It's not uh, corruption. Yes. But again, you and need to. They are making strides in it. Yeah, yeah, they're making strides. But again, you need to. If you hit a brick wall, you huh. reach out and say, okay, that's why you have SWOT analysis to know, okay, to, that's how you have, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, to reflect and see where have I gone wrong? What is going on? This is not working. Let me, let me change my, this, my, my way. So you can achieve. One thing that the president has done, uh, he has not done, mm -hmm. is to sell that vision of corruption. Of the fight against corruption. Of the fight against corruption to, to a critical mass of people, ah. even to the exec, even to the national you think assembly. So? You think he so? has not sold it? Okay. How the, many people believe it, believe in it? Oh, okay. Um, uh, it's like he's uh, I, I, on I his own. I, I, it's not my job to pick you up on that. You but know, he's on his, you already like, this is his own. because I was under the impression that job. most Nigerians. No, it's your job as a, pro, a renowned journalist. It's me, your job. Me, me, I was the impre of the impression that most Nigerians will not argue against the fight. Against corruption. No, but I, I, no, no, no but, Nigerian will argue against it. But you wear a manner. Okay. How you present it. How you, present, how you articulate yes. your, 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 your roadmap. You, 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 um, you, Olusola in the UK, I'm very, very sorry, sir, uh, for holding you up all this while. Good morning. It's all right. Good morning, Uncle Yori. Good, Good morning, morning, sir. Uh, Thank you for calling in. Yes, as well. Good Thank morning, you. sir. Please go ahead. Yes, sir. Um, I just want to be part of the program, sir, Uncle Yori. Okay. Um, I just, uh, Uncle Yori, I just want to, I, I will try to brief it because uh, we, we are having journalist problem in Nigeria because some certain thing which our president has said, the journalists will just pretend as if they don't hear and they don't know what is happening. Okay. Some time ago, our president, when they were killing people in, uh, 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 in Benue, when they went to Abuja to greet him, to, 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 to lodge the complaint, he said you should accommodate your neighborhood. And now he came to United Kingdom, where I'm living now. He's telling us uh, uh, some people from Libya are killing Nigeria. And you ask them to accommodate them. Have you forgotten that? Hmm. So I don't understand. You want to fight corruption, you're fighting corruption. Fight, fight corruption and look at our economy. Corruption, you can't, you can't stop corruption. You can only cut it. Cut it. Okay. In the United Kingdom and the rest of the European, they make it very difficult for you to steal. Okay. But, but, but uh, 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 Olushala, thank you. But what they're saying is that the fight against corruption is going to continue. It has to continue. There is no choice. And okay, it should continue from his party. Oh. oh Let oh. him continue from his party. Oh, okay. You a PDP member yesterday. They are in, in, in his cabinet today. Okay. Okay, okay. I understand you, Olushala. Thank you very much for calling yeah. in. That's the point you are making. Um, and thank, there you, are, and there are, thank you very much, Olushala. And there are people who have made this point that, um, look, uh, the whole thing is almost amorphous now. You have this, it's almost like osmosis between PDP and uh, ACE, APC, uh, that kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. And so how come a guy was, quote unquote, one of the bad guys, uh, and now, quote unquote, he's one of the good guys simply because he's taken a short walk yeah. into the other party. Yeah. And why election is very important. Mm -hmm. That's, so, as a writer, when you are writing, you add at the bottom or in between, you add your own opinion. 
That because if the way we are going with the kind of arguments that we make, we don't care about our nation, Nigeria. Me, I'm not a member of PDP, neither am I a member of APC. But I'm a Nigerian. So when I speak, that's my perspective. That's why in this coming election, there must be a change in a pattern in which we vote, so that we can vote for you, so that you can deal with the opposition the way he's dealing with the opposition right now. Although what you said is excellent in a classroom. You know that when we... It's not we, in the classroom. This when, election coming wait, next. When, when we come outside, you know that then we'll begin the other conversation about lack of internal democracy. Who told you that is the best guy we have? How did I get who, who is, the be, is this the best guy we have? This yeah. place where I'm sitting, how did I get here? <laughs> you, your, your, your producer called me by selection. Exactly. By, okay. the, by the way, do you know how I got to where I am in life today? By God's selection. Okay, one moment, please. Uh, Divine, thank you very much for holding on. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Chief. Professor Kuyori. <laughs> <laughs> uh, please, I want to, my, my, my greeting to your guest in the studio. Sure. Yes, sir. And uh, I want to say, please, you will not go to Meduguri. <laughs> <laughs> but if duty calls, yes. if yeah, duty calls, Yuri, you will not, we will need you more. This is, if duty calls, you are for reporting from Meduguri. This is duty, <laughs> this is duty for you. How, how about our boys in uniform oh, that are there? Oh. They are the people to be there. Okay. They are generally even in the people with the uniform. Okay. So I want, I want to contribute to the issue. Sure. In as much as we cannot tell ourselves the truth, honestly speaking, what is happening in Nigeria is just a film. Take a look of what happened to the Chibo girls. These things are politics. Even the Chibo girls, they are all politics. The, the, the Chibo, uh, the Dapchi girls are politics. So please, I want to say, even if the, I want to just say one thing, in as much as we cannot tell ourselves the truth, they keep on playing politics with the security and everything that is happening in this country. Yes. We are not going anywhere. Okay. Until we change our attitude as a nation. Exactly. Until we begin to tell people, hey, don't do this, and you are fine by it. Not because my brother did this, I will cover him. Yes. It's very wrong. All right. Then. And I want to say that even the issue that is happening now, even in, in, in the people that are clean in Benue, this is a, it's not a, a, a plan here. This is a plan. Thank you very much. Thank you very much uh, for calling in. I guess he hit on it there. This whole matter about um, it's because the fight against corruption, it's, it, it's, it's, it's okay the way it's going. Everybody will sign up. Everybody will identify. Nobody would dare say, Do, you can't go there. It's not, it's not a noble objective. It's your name on the but, list. but, but, and, and here's the problem, I think. The fight against corruption, it starts mentally. You have to have a mental concept of fighting corruption. Otherwise, fighting it with body and your mentality is intact yeah, with yesteryears. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let me tell you what I think. You, that but it's now that the way we are nowadays, I now have to be a lot more careful yeah. in how I go about that which I've been doing. Yeah. It's let, totally different let, from let me, let me tell you. those days are over. People don't want to accept that those days are over. To be politically correct, they're going to have to parrot it along with everybody else. But perhaps is what people are saying, they don't really believe it and have a mental concept of it. Uh, who is in London? Asho, Asho in London, good morning. Morning. Okay, thank you for calling in. Yep. Go right ahead, please. Uh, yeah, uh, just, I just want to uh, comment about, uh, are you there? Yes. Asho. Yeah, I just want to comment about, uh, you, talk, you just talked about, uh, the president fighting corruption, this government fighting corruption yeah. and releasing this list of uh, looters. Yes. yes, I think they've done the best thing by they're publishing the, the names of looters. They should do that. They ought to have done it a long time, but they're releasing it at, maybe at a later date. Fine, even for doing it at this time, fine. But they should keep on fighting corruption. Mm -hmm. That's the key thing there. Mm. So, so that, that, I mean, the timing of, of, of release of names is, is, should not be an issue. Yes. I think if you keep on in that direction, then if there is one, then we're talking about some people left, some people, some PDP members who looted uh, in APC, but the fact remains, nobody, nobody can say that for real, because what led to some people coming to, uh, to, to APC at, at the formative stage was they, they got this disgruntled uh, with the way Absolutely. the PDP government was doing things then. So, but we still have some elements, but the key thing is the president should look inward as well, 
But the massive of looting means mean we cannot we cannot just underplay it. All right then. Keep on listing their names. They should publish that those names. And that's it. And they should make sure they put. I think I think the president. I think when the president came here as the ministry head of state, this is very important. Um, after some years, he left. It's just like the public are saying that uh, maybe ashes of seven years can burn somebody's hand. The way people people antagonized him when he wanted to become the president, citing an example, ref, making reference to the way he handled people the other time. Mm -hmm. I think now he's an old man. He now begins to feel that maybe I should take it gently, take this money, don't harass anybody. But I think people voted him in so that he can put things in the right way. All right, but then. Let the money I got, uh, put them where they belong. I won't say jail them. Let the court decide. But you should fasten everything so that everybody will be happy. Thank you very much. Re yeah, really yeah, appreciate your call. Yeah, I wanted to, I, I, I wanted you, to say. When you talk about fight. Because I wanted to. Yes, go okay. Sorry. You need to start from strengthening your institutions. That is the, where the fight should begin. When yes, you, I, I, you, you know what, I, I'm sorry for interrupting yes. you too. I, I think people looking at the, 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 the mix, the, the matrix and um, how widespread corruption is, never mind was, is, and they're fighting about it, that look, names that are released, is it statistically possible that if you did a thorough job, there will not be some APC name in that list, just by the law of statistics? That's what some people are saying, that the law of probability is such that if this thing were not were done totally with uh, detachment, uh, since we know that there's so much fluidity of movement over from this party to that party, it's not possible. And yet you're not naming those names. And you made the point earlier, Austin. I'm I think all those concerns are necessary. Uh, unfortunately, we've run out of time. But Austin, you said something that relates to what the, the other guy just said, which is that continue to name them. Austin said, w w what, what difference is it going to make? People have lost their sense of shame. People have gone, been jailed, been convicted, been jailed, have come back to this town as a and hero. And celebrated them. As a hero. People have been outed as looters and it's thieves. Of, of they the still values continue that to be, you know, hailed by their people. Mm -hmm. uh, people have gone as far as saying that, left it, is it, is it your money? But it's our money. Mm -hmm. so but, but at least some of their children that are grown up and living in different houses in America now know that their father's name is on the list. <laughs> if that's the reason now. But I've completely run out of time. 15 seconds only. Institutions. Ah, uh, I don't even have 15 seconds. Yeah, institutions, we need to strengthen the institutions, that's the only way we can f do the real fight against corruption. And even that requires sincerity of purpose. Yes, yeah, sincerity of purpose. Thank yeah. you very, very much, Dr. Austin Wednesday, uh, lecturer at uh, Pan-Atlantic University, and also to our friend uh, Chuk Smoko, uh, publisher. Thank you for writer. having me. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank A very you. interesting conversation. And thank you, too, for joining uh, uh, the program. In fact, you're an integral part of it. Join us tomorrow at half 10 in the morning for a fresh edition. I'm Yori Folani. Bye-bye for now. Thank you.